So hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Grace Nicole Myths, Astrology and Tarot. We are here for December's readings. All right, December's readings. Now, um, if you are catching this at a different time, time is fluid and it moves in a spiral. So chances are you are revisiting the energies that are going on at this time. All right, there is most likely a message in there for you. Uh, definitely pay attention to your big three, sun, moon, rising, but I always strongly recommend looking at the energy of each sign as it pertains to the energy of the houses in which those signs rule in your birth chart, okay? For today, I'm using the Oracle of the Dragon Fae, the vendor deck version two, and my hand-drawn deck. We are going to get right into your message, okay? Thank you to everybody who has subscribed and is returning, and welcome, welcome to everyone who is new. Don't forget to drop a like if the readings resonate, leave a comment, and let me know. I love to hear from you guys. Let's get started. All right, Leo. Leo and Leo Energies. For December whenever you're catching this message. Leo, Leo placements. Spirit please. What insights can you give us into Leo and Leo energies? Dream wanted to pop out. We'll see if it comes out. The scissors. With the key. The scissors and the key. Truth sets you free. <laughs> okay. The key is all about the truth inside the heart and letting the truth guide us like a compass, right? That the truth is the compass. The truth is the one that actually takes us on our highest good path. The truth. All that is deceptive, all that is a lie, all that is an omission, right? Anything that is not the truth needs to be cut. Whether those are lies that you tell or have told others or are willing to tell others, or lies that you have or continue to or will tell yourself. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's not a big deal when it is. I'm this, I'm that. I must be this. I must be that when you're not. Right? The truth is the truth. And if you know who you are, if you know who you are, and that's the truth, you can go far and cut off a lot of what you don't need. The scissors energy is very straightforward. Something needs to get cut. Something needs to. Like the scissors of fate, the three fates, they clip the thread that decides when someone's life is over. It's no different. Only metaphorically speaking, we're not, you know, literally taking someone's life, but we are removing them from our life. We cut their life from ours. They are no longer a part of our life. The truth is something needs to get cut. Maybe multiple things, maybe multiple people. Could be situations, could be environments, could be all of the above. All right, we're going to find out. It could be a belief system. It could be a belief system that you need to cut, right? It could be a belief system. I just got that real strong. What you feel you're obligated to do, what you have to do, what you're supposed to do. You gotta follow the truth. That's what it comes down to. Anything else is in misalignment, right? Yeah, you are stuck here. The truth is you're stuck here. 
in the fucking circus. <laughs> You're stuck in the fucking circus. It's a big show. It's a big show. It's ego versus egos and pride versus whatever. Like it's all kinds of, it's a fucking show filled with clowns. Okay. Yeah, it's entertaining. It's exciting. Because there's always something going on. When I say exciting, I don't mean like a really good movie. Like exciting, meaning there's always something going on. It's excitable energy. It's chaotic. There's never a dull moment, right? Doesn't mean the moments are good. So what does this energy look like? For Leo. Leo placements at this time. Insight, please. Into this energy. have the fool the hanged man the eight of swords give me one more in clarities please the queen of cups I'm going to keep that with her as a clarifier Clarify the Fool and the Hanged Man and the Eight of Swords, please, Spirit. Fool is clarified by the Chariot. That's major fucking movement. Major fucking movement. Yo, you got to enlighten the shit out of yourself, right? You got to get in touch with your own third eye. The long-term result you're seeing in your mind's eye, that's going to that is going to be what ends up occurring if you don't crack out of your shell. You have to crack out of your shell enlightened, like literally look at this. The fool is taking a step forward, eyes closed, touching the third eye, holding it and touching it like a guide. And finds himself emerging out of the shell and the third eye is lit. You put yourself in a position where you start to observe, right? That light just grows. It expands. The more you allow yourself to be still and observe this is the nine of coin and the nine of wands we got the knight of swords on bottom and the five of pentacles on top this is a broken home when the home should be a sanctuary of peace the home should be a sanctuary of peace when the rest of the world is chaotic. Nothing should be disturbed inside your home. It should be your safe haven. If it's not your safe haven, it's because you yourself are not at home within yourself because the home is also metaphoric for the self. The inner reflects in the outer. If you're chaotic and crazy and broken on the inside, you're going to manifest a chaotic and crazy broken home. Knight of Swords, one foot in, mostly out. Seven of Coins, because as abundant as it is, it's like time limited. I just got this feeling of like seeing like a cornucopia's worth of fruit, but it's all going to rot in a week. It's all been picked from the tree. The lover's card, Gemini and energy, mercurial energy, and the king of cups, water energy, uh, 
Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but very Piscean energy on the bottom of the deck. The Knight of Pentacles, right? Reflecting that pause. As you can see, they're very similar. They're very similar. If we were to turn the Hanged Man upside down, they're very similar in posture, are they not? Yeah, third party contracts. This is earthly bindings to third parties that go back to childhood wounds with the moon where we're sinking, we're sinking with soulmates looking looking for love in the ether, looking for love outside of where we're at, right? Chiron. Wounded energy. It's wounded healer energy. It's not your job to save anybody. It's not your fucking job, Leo. Gemini energy, the lover. Oh, I just got this this energy, right? Of money flowing through the fingers like water. And they've got one foot out. This is a broken home environment. Leo. You might have to seriously take a leap of faith on moving. Maybe literally moving or quite literally shifting your perspective altogether in a drastic way from the mental prison to breaking free of victim mentality. Because the Eight of Swords is the mental prison, right? Where we're stuck in our own minds and feel like there's no way out. And this particular Nine of Wands... The ninth wand is breaking. It's breaking. They're holding it up and breaking it. It's snapping. Which would leave the eight wands. An eight of wands is, is spirit communicating to you, asking you to move forward. Sometimes it's Cupid's arrow. But it's that ping. It's that ping that you get that says this way. This way. Leo, you may have very strong or significant Cancerian placements. Uranus and Taurus might be aspecting on them. Your Cancerian placements. Uranus is around, I think, 15, 16 degrees, 16 degrees right now. So you may have significant placements in Cancer around anywhere from 13 to 19 degrees Cancer. But Uranus is aspecting on it. And it's asking you to please see things from a different perspective. To put how you feel over what makes sense. Because the hanged man is about how you feel being more important than the logic for why you're staying in it. Because it's a fucking maze. It's a money maze. It's a money maze. Leo, right now, you may feel a way that you don't want to feel and you're being asked to observe why you are in this maze of money. The perspective shift might need to be about your independence. The perspective shift might need to be the fact that you are, are locked into a situation, a broken home situation that's like a maze and you're in it for money. You're in it for money. It's a money maze. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? Because right now you feel like there's no way out.
you feel like you're being blocked by these hedges on all corners. Like you got to break through it because it's burdensome. It's a spiritual burden. Being locked into something for money because you don't know how to claim your sovereignty within yourself in order for it to reflect in the outer experience. That you don't feel solid enough on your own, that you are capable on your own. You got to dive real deep, Leo. Queen of Cups, dive. Queen of Cups, dive. real deep into your light and remember that you are capable the spiritual burden that is keeping you stuck down there you've got to dive down there with your heart space right heart overhead you've got to dive down there with your heart space queen of cups and pull this shit off of yourself because if you're above ground, right? Let's just let's use this analogy, right? If you're above the ground, picking up those 10 wands might be really heavy. But if those wands are underwater, they lift pretty easy. You could just move them. They're easier to move when you dive deep. It's harder when you're staying on the surface trying to carry those wands or get them off of you. It's suffocating. This money maze. You need to get your home. Within yourself, your home in order. You need to get your home in order. You might have Chiron in Cancer. Chiron in Gemini. There's something you need to walk away from. Something that looks abundant today, but that's going to rot tomorrow. You got to be able to recognize that. That, yeah, it's good today. It feels good today, but it's going to rot. It's going to rot. At some point, it's going to rot. It's not sustainable. It's not non-perishable. Whatever you're involved in, it's got an expiration date. At some point, you're going to have to bust out of whatever this is and accept the fact that you don't actually like the way you feel in it. And that any monetary reasons for staying are not important because you are more than capable of removing the burdens yourself. What's the guidance, please, spirit, for uh, Leo, Leo energies? Really, the hanged man, Neptune, and Jupiter and Pisces right now may be aspecting on your chart. You've got to take the right steps to get out of the maze. And the first thing is acknowledging the fact that the maze ain't shit. It's just fucking hedges. The only element really missing here is fire, Leo. We've got swords. We've got coins. We've got cups, we've got major water energies, and your only fire energies are the burden. Like, you've got to take these ten wands and build a bonfire. You've got to take all these wands and build a bonfire and burn your way out of this fucking maze. Soul fire. Soul fire. Burn your way out. Fuck them hedge walls. They ain't shit. 
You know what I mean? You're getting trapped up, wrapped up in these fucking hedges. The guidance card. New Moon Fay. Soul scrying. That's a beautiful card. You know, we have the new moon in Sag coming up on November 23rd, which just so happens to be right after I'm recording this message. So everything going on with the hanged man energy might be really significant, right? Perspective shifts that might come along with that new moon going into December. So keep that in mind. All right. New moon Fay. Card number 17. Healing energy, right? Initiating divine intervention. New moon Fay. Soul scrying. The new moon Fay speaks. I rule myths and dreams which encapsulate truths about yourself in forms that you can work with. I rule creativity and the storyteller and that which enchants. I am imagination, instinctive wisdom, and archetypal energies and forms which cross cultural boundaries. I love the moonlight. And I know only too well that the light of the crystal one can mean madness or enlightenment. I am the enchanted, strange outsider, as are you. And so I understand when you feel you are not at home in this world. Sometimes I know you feel as if you are not a part of the mainstream and you can feel isolated. Please remember that under the moonlight, you cannot see the full spectrum of colors, but you can often see between the worlds and deep into the true essence of all. Do not feel ashamed of your strangeness and your shadows. They can be beautiful and mysterious if they are loved, embraced, and owned. But something is missing, and I have cast out a part of myself that I am now waiting to return, like you. I am nearing a time of action where I must go in search of all of myself. But for this moment, I take solace in the reflection of this still and moonlit pool and even in the stark lacework of the bare trees. I find truth and hope. You too have this quicksilver and primal energy, but I encourage you now to become practical, to deal with the difficulties and separation, to deal with difficulties and separation and to dissolve your fears through action, strength and acceptance. However, do not shut out your own fears and intuition. What you resist and repress only regroups in the shadows and draws strength from denial. Instead, bring your fears out into the open and shine the sunlight on them. Embrace all of who you are. Your accepted social mask can now be dropped. You may now incorporate the power of heightened psychic ability, which can be hard to communicate and read accurately. Do not despair. You will learn to understand and interpret your own psychic and symbolic language if you practice, as I am now in this sacred pool. If you do not make a conscious effort, your unconscious will continue to do the work on your behalf anyway. You may be a psychic nighttime being with fragile but powerful abilities, but you are also of the elements and the dragon fate can teach you strength and give you wisdom with which to use it well. This lovely, lost for the moment, dragon fay maiden has no name as she is yet to become home 
to her whole self. But she is working on becoming whole as you are now. And your true nature is being integrated into your social self. She is pining. It is that she is waiting for her dragon self to return so she can be whole. But she is also at a new stage of beginning and is obsessing over what she does not seem to have. This is the card of a person who feels that part of their true self is no longer with them and it speaks of the yearning that we can experience. While she is wistful, she has hope and she will grow stronger over the coming moon cycle. She has powerful visions. This card often indicates that the listener will be able to cleanse themselves and feel at home near beautiful bodies of water. It is also the card of connecting more to moonlight and the subtle quick silver light of reflected sun. You may feel abandoned at this time or like a part of you are, is missing. It can also indicate that you have been experiencing a false belief that others do not like or accept you, right? We were talking about cutting a belief. In truth, when this card is revealed, it is that new moon Fae wishes to indicate that you do not like and accept yourself and that you may be choosing to hide from your own psychic ability and wild self. Your spirit visions shrouded by denial, withdrawal, depression, drinking, eating, sleeping to drown out your inner voice and ability, fearful superstitions, feeling your abilities are not godlike or god-given, guilt over psychic abilities and beliefs, dark night of the soul, expecting total clarity from visions, misunderstanding the nature of psychic work, Longing, yearning, but inactive, sensation of drowning, memory problems, soul amnesia, water or attention, and a tendency to turn to alcohol, food, or other substances to drown out your psychic messages is all indicated with this card. It's acknowledging that the belief that you are abandoned that the belief that you are missing a part of yourself out there is not actually true. It's been buried with soul burdens placed on you by other people. And if you love yourself and submerge them in the water of your love, of your depths, they're easily carried off of yourself. You're not missing any pieces. You're not incomplete. You're not abandoned. You're not stuck. You're not trapped. You can crack out of that reality. You can leave the broken home within and as so without. Money and the ties that bind us financially are never good reason to be stuck. All of those things are perishable. You know, the card was talking about the unconscious doing the work anyway. It will rot eventually. It will perish eventually. But you can do it yourself. Recentering from these earthly third party contracts, these money ties that go back, right? We're talking about the new moon Fae, dark moon. You haven't seen all of the pieces, they're missing their burdens down here. You gotta take them off yourself by submerging it in the depth. Whatever soulmate you're drowning with. It's because you have Chiron energy to heal. Justice comes from the efforts needing to be made. 
the efforts being made to move forward. That's Leo. Whatever it is you're tied to, Leo. Whatever you think you're trapped in. Whatever doesn't actually feel good. If it doesn't feel good to be financially tied, then what you need to accept is financial freedom. And what steps need to be taken in order to achieve that. Whether you were taught that that's acceptable or not. Whether you were taught that's proper or not. And Leo, Leo energies, Leo placements, I just want to take a moment to thank you for your presence here today. And especially if you have been with me throughout the years, allowing me to serve you with my light in the highest. It has been and will continue to be an honor of mine to serve you like this. And to everybody who is new, who has found me with this message um, and has become a part of the soul family and the channel here, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell <laughs> so that you don't miss the energies and the new messages coming in for you in the future. Um, have a blessed and beautiful holiday no matter where you are in the world and i will see you next time take care leo